garage out here with the hood. Um, I think it is completely cured out because we're living in a blast furnace right now. Uh, it feels good, not sticky, not tacky, everything's good. Uh, I'm going to be doing some wet sanding and then we're going to look at this scratch that I put in it which did not make me happy whatsoever and I'm not going to continue to go on and on about it because in my head it's still going on as a narrative. Why did you do that? <laughs> but anyway, I think this is not going to be as bad as I thought uh, last night when I was thinking about it going, that sucks. I think it'll be okay. I've got my Dyna Braid um, wet sanding uh, DA, which has a big pad on it. Those are awesome. So we're going to start sanding this down and seeing if, if it needs to be repainted or not. It remains to be seen. The hood is something that I would actually 100% repaint if it needed it because uh, this is, like I said a million times, this is the most noticeable part on the Jeep. And if your hood looks like crap, people walk up, they go, oh, that's, that's a terrible paint job. So we're going to spend some time on it. I'm going to try to touch up that spot without destroying it. We'll go from there. All right, so I came over and dropped off some stuff. Uh, I think a license plate bracket and something else for the Jeep. And then I said to myself, man, I need to get these seats out. I've been using a breaker bar and a cheater, and it hasn't budged at all. So I said, you know what? From home, I'm going to bring the Alabama Jamma Hammer uh, impact wrench from Milwaukee. And if this can't get these seats out, I don't know what I'm going to do, get a torch or something. But hopefully this will just knock these bolts right on out of here. Uh, and I'll be able to remove the seats. I want to look at the floorboard. Uh, I'm going to continue taking the rest of the stuff out, the center console and the seats, to look at the floorboard because I've got some sound deadener to put on and I've got carpet. So, um, but I want to get the seats out. I got to, at the very least, uh, clean off and, and paint the uh, the bottom of the feet where they're a little bit rusty. So let's see how this thing works. Not an issue. <laughs> if you ever need to take something out, Milwaukee. Mm, dang. Yes, sir. wire here so I'm going to unhook the wire and then uh, continue on. Awesome! Alright I got both seats out and the floorboards are actually in perfect condition. There's no problems with rust or anything. That uh, little bit of rust right there is where I was drilling out this stupid safe thing they had. Um, so the next thing I do is so the next thing I need to do is take out the console and probably those lower seat belts uh, and figure out what I'm going to do with the floorboard. I think Basically, I'm going to paint it with some rust preventive paint and uh, then put the sound deadener over it. It's already got some factory, like, looks like plastic sound deadener, but I've got some stick-on stuff that I think I'm going to use rather than bed liner. With the carpet, I really don't need to go through all that. But the sound deadener will make a huge difference as far as driving because you can hear how noisy that would be if you're hitting a rock or something. So sound deadening will make a huge difference as far as like the quietness of the ride. So I went and got a haircut. Here's some scenes from that. My hairstylist has got the hots for me. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, my hair is too long for this hot, hot weather. I'm for low maintenance. I'm not really for fashion. <laughs> so I'm going to get my hair cut. Hey, hot stuff. Oh yeah, I want it really short. What are you doing, sexy? Don't. What? Don't what? That. Don't what? Don't that. What's your name, girlfriend? I came into Master Cuts today. What's your name? You're kind of pretty. I kind of like you. You're pretty, girl. <laughs> What's your name? Can you give me I your? I haven't cut your hair yet. It's not going to be pretty. To I don't care. Gone. Can you give me your digits? <laughs> <laughs> so now my hair is shorter, and I'm appreciative of my beautiful wife. Uh, 
as far as like the hood, I'm working on the wet sanding, color sanding of the uh, the stippling or the orange peel that's in it. Um, my Maverick is supposed to be coming in. Of course, Ford said between the 9th and the 14th, and now they're saying, oh, it's the 14th, so it'll probably be the 24th because Ford sucks um, as far as like any type of communication. My dealer's been great. No, we ha no, they haven't. They've been awful. They haven't called me one time about the truck. This is almost a year in a year. So um, I did contact the dealer to get some information, and then that's the last I've heard. So we've gone silent, gone dark on that. Ford sucks as far as like the customer experience. Maybe someday they'll fix it. Who knows? But all that to say is at some point when I get the truck, someday, maybe, maybe this month, maybe next month, maybe, who knows, uh, I'm going to find an imperfection in that paint because there's no such thing as a perfect paint job and that's my point is that yes I scratched the hood I'm going to touch it up and it will no longer be a perfect paint job on the Jeep but there's no such thing so you got to live with some stuff hopefully I get that to touch up but let me show you what we're doing we're doing color sanding first thing I'm using is a Dynabray DA with an extra pad on it, right? And then some 3M Trizac wet or dry sheets. Uh, I'm starting with 600, then I'm going to 1500, and then 2000 as far as like the grits go. Uh, 600 really knocks down that, that mess. So let's take a closer look at the hood and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right here you can look at the hood. You can kind of see the shiny stippling right here. And then as you go further out it's flat. Here's where I started and I'm working my way out to that edge now there's a lot of clear on this hood so I shouldn't sand through it but I'm working on getting everything that looks like this further out so let me show you where we're so it should end up like this and you look down into it and you look for any type of that shiny spots and you want to make sure that it's completely flat so I'm gonna keep working on it my sandpaper and garbage over here I have gone through uh, 800 grit and then 1200 1500 2000 and then finished with three and if you look on the end it almost looks like right up here that it's got some finish it almost looks polished uh, and that's just from sanding it with the 3000 grit sandpaper so we're I'm ready to go ahead and start buffing it turned out really nice I'm, I'm happy with it we'll see how it busts out I sanded a little bit on this piece. Uh, I'm going to mask it off right here and here or shoot it later. It's not going to be that noticeable, so I'm good with that. Um, everything else looks great. Got all the stippling out, all the garbage. So uh, let's see if we can get this thing buffed out. The polish that I like the best is Minzerna. Uh, I think it performs the best. Uh, it's real easy to use. One, two, and three steps. Uh, it does a great job, and I rarely ever have any issues with it. I, I like it better than... I think it's a little bit smoother than the 3M products, and uh, it's about the same price. So I like the Minzerna over just about anything else. Well, I'll say this, it looks really good. This is the first cut. Looks nice. I'm going for number two. We're going to use the medium cut, and then I'm switching over to a foam pad. Well, I got a little bit more polishing to do tomorrow, but it looks fantastic. I am ready to put a fork in it. Really, the only thing I have to do is a little bit more polishing. It feels great. Um, touch up that one little spot here, and the hood is finished. So, I am super excited about that. We'll look at it... <coughs> Next video, 
Next video we'll look at it in the uh, sunlight. Next video we'll look at it in the sunlight, but you can so through, see under the fluorescence. It's pretty dang shiny. Uh, I'm going to just let it dry tonight. Well, today I didn't wear an apron, so I got polish and compound all over me. So first stop is the washing machine, take my clothes off. Uh, I am thrilled with the way the hood looks. I can't wait to see what it looks like in the sunlight because it always looks better than fluorescents, which are funky, make them look funky. Um, but overall, I think it turned out really, really awesome. As hot as it was and as humid and uh, it looks great and, and it's got a great shine to it. So awesome. Next video will be working on the tailgate and looking at the uh, tub in the rest of the truck to see what I'm going to do with it. I appreciate you being a subscriber. Keep watching. This Jeep is going to be beautiful and white. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.